welcome to my channel and today I have a kids theatre vlog. Today we are going to the Lowry Theatre in Salford to see the smartest giant in town. It is based on the Julian Donson and Axel Schiffler book which is one of Leo's favourite books. He's so excited to go. Uh, we have been gifted our tickets for the press day uh, so yeah we're really excited. We can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. And yeah, I'll tell you all about it when we get home. If there's any merch, I'll show you any merch. And yeah, we'll let you know what we think of the show once we get back. So we've got three minutes till the next tram. So we've just got off the tram now, we're just outside the theatre, so we're in the Keys for today, which is the smaller one, so I'll just show you where it is across the water, because it has a lovely view across the water, this theatre, but yeah, I'll just show you where we are. And the theatre we're going to is here just at the back, so I can zoom in. So that is the theatre we're going to just here at the back. So I'm going to go and head in now and um, see where we're going to be sat. So we're just walking up to the theatre now, and Leo spotted the giant poster. There it is, that's what we're going to go see today. So here we are, just about to head down. Oh, we're on this. Are we going in? What are we going in? Come on. Come on. So Leo's just having a little snack before the show. He had his sausage roll at home, but just having his little so snack. So we've actually got here really early. It's not even one o'clock yet, so I thought I'd have a quick look in the little Lowry shop see what they've got. Sometimes they have some of the kids books in here so so you can see what they've got. Half an hour till it um, starts, but I thought I might as well walk up here and get a seat. Yeah. So, just up here, and then in the bar up here, you've got the really nice views over the water, so it's nice to sit up here and wait if you can. You get the nice views from the bar here. There we go, just So we've got a little space here to leave your crumbs. We're just going to leave ours here. And then you can see this view from the So this is the lovely view from the Keys of Bar, or the Keys like waiting area. So we're just sat here yeah. and just waiting here now for the doors to open for the show. On row F. Oh yeah, we just get one from there because she never wants one. Just get a booster seat for Leo.
my seats now to have me to my seats or I'm real I'm on seat eight. 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 the store. Leo's in his seat, excited Leo. Mm -hmm. Absolutely loved that. You loved it. You loved it, didn't you? Yeah. Come on then, let's go. Come on. Okay, we're just out of the show now. Leo, did you like the show? Was it very good? Yeah, Leo loved the show. <laughs> so we've just come to the Larry Outlet Mall after the show to get some wet food. He had a little snack before the show but he didn't have a proper meal so daddy's just gone to get some chicken nuggets isn't he? And maybe some chips to share. Yeah. So Leo, did you enjoy the giant show? <gasps> Who was your favourite animal? Did you like the giraffe? Whoa. Look at mummy. Where's Leo? I can't see you. There you are. There he is. Did you like the doggy? Doggy. And did you like the fox? Whoa. Yeah. Did you like the giant? Yeah. The giant. Yeah. He absolutely loved it, bless him. He was literally sat there in awe the whole time with his mouth open, just in awe. He absolutely loved it. I think it might have been the his favourite one from the ones he's seen but he loved that didn't you? Well, we've just got some chicken nuggets and some chips to share with Leo. Leo loves chicken nuggets. Did Alice like the show? Did you like the show Alice? What was your favourite animal in the show? Um, a little mouse A little mouse? And a cat. Yeah and did you like the giraffe? Yeah. And the doggy? You like everyone, so we just take the tram start now and the tram's coming. So we haven't had to wait. back from the show and we absolutely loved it it was a great show leo was just sat in all the whole time he really really enjoyed this show so 
we went to the Lowry to see the musical adaptation of The Smartest Giant in Town, which is based on the best-selling book by Julia Donaldson Axel Schiffler. Uh, like I said, it is Leo's like favourite bedtime story. I read this to him like every night. He really loves this book. So the show was on in the Keys Theatre, which is the smaller theatre. We were sat on, we were sat in the stores on row F. We were, I think we were seats five to eight, something like that. So we were like in the centre um, of the stalls. And the view was absolutely excellent from there. Leo and Alice could see really well. We did get Leo a booster seat, which you could get as you're walking into the stores. They have booster seats there. If you are on any of the tier levels, you are not allowed booster seats. I think it's to do with you could throw them over the balcony and it would be dangerous. So only if you're in the stores can you have booster seats. Um, so we got Leo a booster seat, but I don't think he probably needed one, but we got one just in case and he like, happily sat on that. Also when we got there, there was like a little trolley park set up, there's a little sign saying park your trolleys here and you just parked it there and then picked it up at the end. Uh, there was no merchandise for this show. Um, sometimes for the kids shows there is a bit of merchandise, like some soft toys and stuff like that, but there wasn't anything like that for this show, which is, uh, I think Leo would have loved like a little toy of the giant or one of the animals you probably would have loved that because the puppets in this are so beautiful a little soft toy of the puppets would have been really nice because they're, they're really lovely puppets in this show so the running time from the for the show is about 45 minutes um and the age recommended age range for the show is two to eight years so that's probably about the right length of time for like the smaller children i think if it's much longer they start to get a bit restless or start to need the toilet so i think it's the perfect length it's also the perfect length for the book um obviously they've padded out the story a bit with all the songs which i have to say the songs were excellent and this really enjoyed the songs um children were clapping along to some of them and yeah i just thought the songs in it were great really fit in with the story so this production of the smartest giant in town was done by little angels theater and it was a co-production with Firelight Productions. Um, I don't think I've seen any of their shows before, um, but this one was excellent. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, all the puppets were beautiful, lovely puppets. I think Leo's favourite was the big giraffe. It's like the big giraffe's head. Um, it was really, really nice. I also really liked um, the fox. I thought the fox was really nice. And also the puppeteering was excellent in this. So. The giant in this was played by Ashton Owen. Um, you don't actually get to see his face because he has a big giant um, head on. So you don't actually ever get to see what he looks like. But he was really good and really funny. Really enjoyed his performance in this. And then you had the two puppeteers who did all the puppets. And they also played some roles within the show as well. So they played like the shop assistants. Um as well which was really good and um, so we had Heidi Goldsmith as one of the puppeteers and James Kenningale I think that's how you pronounce his name so they were the two puppeteers and like I said they were both excellent and um, loved all the voices that they gave to the puppets to give them their accents were really really good so the designer of the puppets was Judith was Judith Hope and she's she's definitely done a brilliant job and you probably saw some of the puppets in the curtain call which I recorded so you can see what they look like I um, think you'll agree they're, they're really amazing little puppets so if you don't know the story of the smartest giant in town I think most people do it's a very popular book but it's basically about a giant who wears a scruffy old gown and sandals and he wants to be smart, he doesn't want to be scruffy and then one day he's out and he sees a shop that's just opened which is selling giant clothes. So he goes and he buys himself some new smart clothes, he buys a shirt, some trousers, uh, a belt, some socks and some shoes and he then on his way home meets some sad animals which needs his help and he ends up giving away his clothes to the animals um, and he ends up with nothing himself and it's basically a story about friendship and helping others and we really we just really enjoyed it and definitely take the kids to see that again um alice and leo loved it um they also you also got to learn a bit of french in this they got the kids counting to three in french and you're all 
um, shouting it back. So there was a little bit of odd audience participation in this. Um, at the end, they do a song at the end and all the children were clapping along. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. Out of all the kids shows I've been to, I have to say this is one of my favourite shows. And I will definitely take them to see it again if it comes to the Larry again. Um, the tickets for this show are priced at £18 each. Um, they do have some access performances. They do have a relaxed performance on, on Thursday the 23rd of February at 11am. And then they have some audio described performances. They're on Friday the 24th of February at 1.30pm. And then they also have a touch tour at 12.30pm. So I think you have to call to book those tickets. So yes, they do do relaxed performances, which is good. Although it wasn't too bad because my daughter doesn't like loud noises and big crowds but she was fine with this show there's not too loud noises it's not big and bright and flashy it's just a simple show so she was quite fine so this show is running from the 21st of february till the 26th of february uh they, they are having two performances a day so there's one at 11 a.m and one at 1 30 p.m so you do get two chances per day to see the show and yeah i definitely recommend it i give this show five stars i think it is a great family show um i think some schools are on half term this week as well so it's great for the kids to go to that and yeah definitely recommend it so if you can get yourself to the lowry to see it go and see it so i will link down below um to the lowry's website where you can purchase tickets i can also um link um the little angels um theatre website uh, information about um the production as well in case you want to read out read a bit more about it and yeah i hope you have enjoyed this little theater vlog if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon bye